Okay, I just got off with you could be tech support and I got the answer to this question. Why is my house set to 67, but my heat threshold is set to 68? It's down below the heat threshold. Why is it not kicking in and turning my house back to 68 for heat? Let's find out why. I actually said, you know, I'll bet you anything that there's something where if it's at 67 degrees, 0.5 or higher, that it won't kick in. And that if it's 67 degrees, 0.4 and lower, it will. And the guy on the phone sort of said, no, not really. But then it turns out I was totally right. So you go into settings. You go to settings, preferences, and defaults. Now, you wouldn't think, but this is where you have to go. Installation settings, but installation settings are not just installation settings. It's not really very well labeled. They also want you to go to advanced options. Now, this, this word is actually pretty good, so thresholds, okay? Take a look at some of this stuff. Auto heat, cool, enabled, okay? Heat, cool, minimum delta. That's basically the difference between your uh, two temperatures, your low temperature and your high temperature. You could go in here and you could actually change that to be three degrees, four degrees, whatever. You could keep it really tight, like basically, you know, 71 and 69 degrees, or you can make it, well, three degrees Fahrenheit looks like it's the lowest, but let's, let's go to five. Let's actually just go to four. Configure staging. Now, comp compressor minimum cycle off time, the only thing that has a compressor is the HVAC system, I mean, the, I'm sorry, the cooling system. So that's the minimum cycle off time, that's to help protect your air, your air conditioner. Um, <clears throat> AC overcool max, that's for the AC again. Would you think to look in the word configure staging to figure out what the temperature is when your darn heater's finally gonna kick in? I wouldn't, I gave them that feedback, but that's where you go. Automatically, Ecobee is gonna handle it for you and they're going to learn what you like. Well, I would, I'm a control freak, so I'd rather go to manual. Take a look in here. Configure station manual, blah, 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 blah. Heat differential temperature, half degree. So I was completely right. If you've set it for 68 and you want to have it kick in, the moment that it goes down to 67.9, right now it won't. It's gonna go down below 67.5 to then kick in and go back to 68. Does that make sense? I'd like to change that. I'd like to make that zero. There is no zero choice. <laughs> You can go down as low as 67 degrees, as low as 66.5, as low as 66 degrees or more before your heat kicks in. But Ecobee does not allow you for your heat to kick in, even if you manually set it, unless it's going to go at least a little bit more than half degree below your current heat temperature. And that answers that question. So this is gonna be a fact of life with you if you decide to be a control freak and set it yourself. Right now it's waiting for it to go down to 67.4 degrees before it will kick it back to 68. Answer to the question solved.